Hey you going guys, back here again, Jet Sima. This is the control uh, video that I'm going to be doing for you guys today, so bugger all. Bear with me. Okay, so we're going to quickly go through the controls that you need to get flying. Very, very quick controls. Now, I will do both the pilot controls just to get flying, and then I'll do a time for other controls, because you can fly from the front. So, first off, you're going to want to uh, either do it at the main menu and select AH-64D Pilot, or if you're already in the game, it should already be there. Next, we'll do Access Commands. Now, if you've never done one of these before, and this is your first time, and this is your first helicopter, up the top, you'll have your category, your keyboard, and what uh, peripherals you're using. Now, I have my rudder, and I have my stick, so you may have to move these little lines out to have a look. Uh, stick and check. Okay, so I know that they are the three. But that's those. So the first access you're going to want to change is the collective. So you want your collective to be on your throttle. So I have an X56 Rhino, so I have it on the X, or you can have it on the Y axis. Now, for an access tune, uh, you don't need any. Yeah, but if you do have any problems, some, uh, some sort of dead zone. I don't need it. Still quite new. Your next one you want uh, your pitch on joystick fly and your roll on joystick normal. Now you want an access tune for both of these. I have 24 with 3 on that one and the pitch I have just for the shears. Your next that you will need is your power, uh, power lever left and power lever right. I have it on two little knobs, X56 Rhino, and if you don't have anything, uh, you can. Uh, now, what you will need to do, uh, and now this is for all three of them, you'll need to go to access tune, most likely, and invert it so you can have it either. So I had to mine. Uh, to have it in my perfect. The next is your rudder. So if you have a twist grip, your stick, it should still be joystick Z anyway, uh, your access, but for me it's just Z. And uh, now if you do have pedals, you'll have your left wheel brake and your white wheel brake. Now in DCS, again, you'll have access tune and invert. I don't have anything but you'll have to invert it otherwise it's on. Okay, so I'll turn those off. If you don't have that, you can use another access or a keyboard. I always use a zoom uh, on my throttle so I can zoom. So that's all the accesses that you need uh, to get started just to fly the aircraft. So the next thing we're going to need to have a look at is in the search bar, you're going to need to go to trim and you'll need to set up your trim uh force trim hold mode switch al forward slash right at for left down or d down or r up now i'm not 100 percent sure what the r up and the d um on the r up is the force trimming mode uh which you get in flying uh, thing i've uh, done a little bit of flying with the helicopter and it Quite, quite a challenging aspect actually. So once I learn a little bit more, I'll uh, get a video out for you very, very soon. So you'll need all of those. The next one you'll need is your stabilizer. I'll show you what this does in the game. So you'll have your stabilizer, uh, you'll need a stabilizer. Press, so you need stabilizer depress. You'll need uh, controls, stabilizer and down, and stabilizer and down. Now, if we come out of control. So that's the stabilizer there, guys. And as you can see, it goes down. And, and the stabilizer depressed brings it back into landing mode. Okay, so that's what that does. So you'll need those stabilizers. Also, you'll need 
So power lever and power. Okay, easier. Uh, you will see the power lever idle, power lever idle off, or you can have both. I have obviously idle and off. That's for left or right. So that's all you need for those. The next main thing you're going to want is your trigger for um, your first detent and your second detent. You need both. I have one on my trigger and one on my button two slot. You will also need your trigger open and close guard. If you do not have this, you, will, you won't be able to fire. You need to open the guard, then you'll have to close the guard. So it's just an extra so you'll need the guard. If you don't have it, uh, you won't be able to. Your next one that you're going to need is George. So if we do the drop down box, we'll have the plays for the George AI helper. So you'll need some controls here as well. So you give him control, fire, and there is also another one if you go up to AH64 pilot and go to the George Helper. I also have all of these on some George Castle hat on you. So you'll need it. And apart from that, that is a quick rendition of all the controls that you're going to need uh, to get flying and get in the nitty gritty stuff. Then you can go back through some stuff. I will go through the controls when Hellfires. Uh, rockets and all that sort of stuff, but most of this aircraft will look like you can click. Uh, there's very few controls that you need to get flying. So that's all it is, guys, and uh, happy flying, and we'll see you on the next video. See you later, guys.